Hello everyone, it is Malachi with Cosplay Powers, and today we're going to show you how to edit a Phoenix X-Men character using Wurble. Alright, so right now we're starting with a clean plate. We're going to add the Phoenix cosplayer, and now we're going to add some cool effects using Wurble. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add some particles, like some ambers floating around. Uh, we're going to add some smoke at the very top. We're going to turn down the uh, saturation. We're going to blur it a bit. And then we're going to add some blending here where our opacity is down. Now what we're going to do is add the fire. I'm going to add some fire to her right arm using this effect. And then we're going to add some fire to her left arm. And then after that, we're going to add some fire to her around her head. But hang on, hang on. We're going to mask this out. And we're going to use the invert mask like that, which looks pretty cool. Then we're going to add some fire to her torso. I don't want to add that one. Yeah, yeah, let's go with this one. Way better. Next thing, what we're going to do is going to add some, like this little lens flare to her eyes. Now watch what I do with this. This is going to be pretty interesting. Watch this. The moment of suspense. Let's go to blending. We're going to add this blend mode. Let me see here. There we go. Overlay. Now, once we add the overlay, before I duplicate this, I want to change the color to something like this. Yeah. Now it's light, so we're going to duplicate it. We want to add more of a uh, punch to it, more energy. And I'm going to kind of adjust the color so I can match this a little slight color grade. Then we're going to duplicate it again, and then I'm going to move this over to the left here, and then I'm going to duplicate this again, and move that one to the left. Now you notice that there's a little bit of glare to her hair. Don't worry, we're going to fix that. So we're going to use the mask tool to remove the glare like this. There we go. Now that looks more realistic. And let's see, what else, what else, what else can we add to this? I know, let's add some fireballs exploding. That would be pretty cool, right? Some exploding fireballs. And let's just offset the timing so it doesn't look like they're exploding at the same time. Because that would not be so cool, not so realistic. Then we're going to add some little bit of some sweeteners there. <laughs> I don't know why I call it sweeteners. Some orbs. And then we're going to add some light looks just to give it a little bit more spicy spice. And then we're gonna add this cool effect with the Wordle app, where it looks like it's an Instagram post breaking the fourth wall, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna do more of that. Then we'll add the pulse effects to make her body move, which would be cool. It's like she's doing uh, some type of exercise here. Let me, yeah, let's make her, let's have her breathing. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this. I know some people don't like the head bobbing like this, but I love it. I love when the head bobs. It's like a Funko toy. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> all right. I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. Okay, so I was going to experiment adding the fire on top of here, but since we have this on a different blend mode, it's not going to work well on white. But in a future tutorial, I will show you how to break the fourth wall a bit more with your edits. But for this, I think this is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Uh, again, definitely follow our Discord server uh, where you can like meet other cosplayers and collaborate. If you like this stuff, definitely subscribe, share. And uh, if you have any questions about editing visual effects, you can definitely message me on Instagram, Cosplay Powers on Instagram. I check my DMs all the time, and I'm happy to help anyone with this type of stuff. All right, take care. Have a great day, everyone.